The idea is to give you options. Okay, so uh, let's take for example, they're giving me a slash. Parry is an option. Uh, jam is an option. These are two major types of options. Then there are other things that I can do with the knife handle. I can go into like knife tapping type of thing. So these are just options. Now, even for a low thrust, for example, this bisecting line is an option. This parry is an option. That's an option, right? So you have a couple of ideas to give you a couple of options from the most common sort of attacks that you face, and then we can add or subtract things along with that option. So let's take the parry angle one, let's take this parry. Now we can add things to this. We can add things before it, we can add things during it, we can add things after it. So what did we do in this drill? The first thing we did, we just started with the basic parry, right? Understanding the timing that's required to parry a weapon, which is different to timing that would normally be required when you're parrying a punch. So I'm just working on the basic parry. Now I can add things to this once I have this basic mechanic, I can add a cut. As I am parrying, I can add a cut. Or I can add a cut the other side with angle two. So just keep giving me angle one. I can go angle two and then she parries and then I can go angle two. So first I'm at angle one with the parry and then I'm at angle two with the parry. I'm just adding things to the parry. Same if I'm jamming here. I can add things to this. So I can add as I can cut as I as I jam. I can cut as I jam. And then after this, well, I, okay, what is the next thing you want to do from here? I have jammed or I have parried. What am I trying to achieve? I am trying to get to the outside. So let's take the jam, right? That was what we were working on in the drill. We're working on the jam. Now I have two ways of getting to the outside of the weapon arm. One is I go over the weapon arm and I can of course add like slashes on the long way, thrust along the way, I can do a whole bunch of stuff along the way and just keep cutting as I go. Or what you guys did is that I go under and again I can add a slash there, I can add a thrust there, I can do a whole bunch of things. So the idea is to give you options that you can play around with and then you can add things to those options, cuts or thrusts and all the while my footwork comes into play because I'm trying to get to the outside of that weapon up and you've done this whether it's been a high slash whether it's been a low thrust whether it's been a high thrust we want to work the same basic principles